Hey goalies, this is Mike. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the brand new Brian's Net Zero Leg Pad. The Brian's Net Zero Series Leg Pad is a slightly scaled down version of the popular Genetic 5.0 Leg Pad. Though it shares many attributes of the 5.0, it does have its own unique design in some areas, including an innovation that's one of the coolest things we've seen in leg pad design in a long time. Let's take a closer look. Like the 5.0, the Net Zero has a double brake outer roll. Each flex point is rated a three out of four by Brian's, meaning that each brake is soft to give the pad some really good flex. Unlike the 5.0, however, the Net Zero comes standard with a flat face front with no knee rolls. This allows the pad to give some very predictable rebound control. Here at the inside edge of the pad, you can really see how thin the overall pad profile is. The design of this edge is very flat with very few seams that would keep the pad from sliding well. Also, the knee features a max width landing pad and a max width calf pad is here to give the goalie a nice wide platform when dropping into the butterfly. Here at the knee lock, it's got a nice wide design to accommodate just about any size knee guard. You've got a segmented flap here which completely wraps around the knee along with a double elastic strap. And this strap can either be put directly across the knee or you can move it down to the calf wrap as well if you want to open that knee cradle up. The leg channel's got a nice wide design so it rotates really well around your leg. It's also got the smart strap, which has been a popular attribute on Brian's pads for a long time now. You can put it anywhere you'd like here for a customized fit. You can also customize the length of the strap here on this side so you can get the pad as tight or as loose as you want it. You've got a nice segmented calf wrap that comes just about all the way around your leg and then you just attach the clip right here and you're ready to go. The boot channel is nice and flat so the pad will rotate really well around your foot. You've got an HD foam toe tie that comes standard with a couple different hole options so you can place the ties anywhere you'd want here. You got one leather boot strap and of course this is made of some uh, weave material which is a little more durable. It also slides better on your foot too. One of the coolest things about the Net Zero pad is your ability to customize it. Typically you can't do this with uh, this price point of a pad, but what Brian's has done is they've put these recessed graphic channels in all these specific areas here on the pad and you can buy separate color kits. So if you've seen here, we've got a blue, we've got a black, we've got a red that we've put in here and I can peel this off and show you just how that works. So you can put the graphic right here in this channel. You will push it down to get it to lie flat. There you go. And the graphic doesn't stick proud of the pad, it actually sits flush. So you've got a nice graphic, so if you're changing teams or you just wanna update the colors of your pad every now and then, you can do that with the Net Zero. You can also customize even the color of the star right here on the side as well. The Net Zero leg pads come stock with this all white design and you customize them by buying these separate color kits here. This color kit comes with all the pieces you'll need for the leg pad, the catch glove, and the blocker. They only come in, in one color, so if you want to do a couple different colors, you'll get a couple different kits, and then you can mix and match as the season goes on. The Net Zero comes in senior, intermediate, junior, and youth sizes, and you can check out all the product information by clicking on the button right up here. Thanks for watching. Hey goalies, Mike Bruins here. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to our channel below. Mike Bruins would also like to reinforce to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Mike Bruins would also like to say, follow us on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Again, this has been Mike Bruins. See you later.